So you wanna build an app, but you don't know how to code. It turns out one of the best programming languages out there today is plain English. In this video, I'll show you one of the easiest tools available for creating fully functional web apps, games, and productivity tools in minutes, no coding required. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the AI-first workflow consultancy. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Claude Artifacts to build custom tools in minutes. I'll start by walking through some examples you can use for inspiration, then we'll create our own social media content generator from scratch using just simple prompts. By the end, you'll have a working tool that transforms any blog post into platform-specific social content with one click. Let's dive in. First off, what is an artifact? It's kind of a vague, fancy word, but it's essentially any item created with a Claude prompt. It could be as simple as a text document or as complex as a platformer game. To start exploring artifacts, open up Claude and click on Artifacts in the left-hand menu. Here, you're going to see a gallery of example artifacts published by Anthropic. There are tools for improving your writing, some productivity hacks, and lots of games. Fair warning, these little games can be a massive time sink. I spent a bit more time than I'd like to admit on this emoji charades game. But hey, it's research, right? We'll call it research. If you want to be a little more productive and build up some brain power, you can always try out something like this flashcard tool. You can just give it a subject and it will generate some flashcards for you to study the topic. Let's go with US state capitals for now. After a few moments, we've got a set of 10 flashcards. Well, that's obviously not enough. I'm guessing the initial prompt probably limits it to just 10. But the cards here are good. Alabama's capital is Montgomery, and I'm sure Juno, the capital of Alaska already. So this is all accurate. We just need more here. If you want to customize one of these artifacts from the gallery, just click Customize, and you can reshape the app with your own prompts. I'll ask for a set of cards specifically about state capitals, with all 50 included. And let's throw in a field where we can type in the answer, a running score, and a shuffle button. On the right, you can see Claude's rapidly writing all the code required to make this little app work. After a few seconds, the new version's ready. We've got all 50 states, plus a functioning shuffle button. And when I give my answer, we can see the score is updated. Awesome! Next up, we'll create our very own artifact that generates social media posts with the click of a button. Need help with your AI project? With lowcodeengineers.com, you can get expert guidance from a handpicked engineer in 48 hours or less. Whether you need to set up an AI agent, an automated workflow, or a Claude project, our team at LCE will help you get it done and learn how it all works with one-on-one -on -one collaborative calls. There's no long-term commitment. You can schedule as much time as you need on a flexible hourly basis. We guarantee you'll make progress in every session, getting one step closer to accomplishing your goals with AI. Just go to lowcodeengineers.com to reach out and book your first hour today. Now let's try creating our very own artifact from scratch. Just go back to the main artifacts page and click new artifact. Claude will then let you pick the category of what you want to build. I'm gonna build a simple app for generating social media posts based on our blogs and videos. So I'll click apps and websites. Claude asks for more details about what I wanna build. I'll give it a quick summary of what I'm thinking. Always be as specific as possible when building your artifact. I'll describe the exact fields I want Claude to create, like a text file upload and a URL. I'll describe the social media platforms I want to post to and functions like including a button to copy the generated post. I'll also throw in a quick description of the writing style to use and how the app should be designed. That should be enough to get started with. We can always tweak the output later anyway. First, Claude provides a summary of what we asked for and it looks fine. Once again, we can see that Claude is thinking and writing a whole bunch of code. Spinning up a whole app from scratch takes more time than making small updates to an existing artifact, so you may have to wait a bit for it to finish up. As it's going, I'm noticing that it looks like it's going to use some pre-written snippets of text for each post, and that's not quite what I'm looking for. I'd rather see each one generated by AI, but I can fix that later anyway. All right, looks like it's finished the first version. Let's check it out. The design looks decent, and it looks like it has all the elements that I asked for. I'll upload a text file.
This is a blog, so I can keep this dropdown set to blog post. I'll provide the blog's URL here too. And I'll click on Generate Blue Sky Post. After a moment, we've got a post, but it looks like my fears are confirmed. This is basically a Mad Lib. No worries though, you'll rarely get exactly what you want from a single prompt, but revisions are easy. I'll specify that I want to use Claude AI to actually generate a unique post each time. Now that we've got a V2, let's try it out with the same blog post. Much better. This is a unique post that directly references the content of the blog. Just one more issue. If you've used AI a lot before, you probably saw this one coming. Gen AI can write extremely well, but it can't count for shit. It went right past the 300 character limit and gave us a 322 character post. We'll need to fix that. Let's also try a LinkedIn post real quick. Not bad, but the formatting is off. It's trying to use asterisks to create bold text, but Markdown doesn't render here correctly, and it definitely won't render on LinkedIn correctly either. So I'll give the AI a couple more notes. Check the character limit for Blue Sky, and no Markdown. Gotta wait a minute for Claude to actually make the updates. Now let's see how it works. I'll run through it one more time with the same material. The character count is under 300 for Blue Sky, and the LinkedIn post doesn't have any awkward asterisks thrown in. This is looking pretty good. Obviously, we could still make some improvements, but for three prompts and a few minutes, this is a great start. If you want to share your artifact with the world, you can click on Publish. This will give you a public link that you can copy to share your work with anyone. I'll send it to my content team so they can start creating social media posts with just a few clicks. Claude's Artifacts lets you easily take AI beyond simple text documents. With just a few prompts, you can build fully functional web apps for you and your team. You can build games, study aids, productivity tools, or anything else you can dream up. Just enter a quick prompt to get started. And if you need help with any AI tools, just reach out to low-code engineers for quick expert support. If this video helped you out, like and subscribe to the channel for more AI and automation updates every single week. You can also find me and my company X-Ray by searching for X-Ray Automation on nearly every social media platform. For now, I've got to go. So until next time, find your focus and stay in flow.